And I don't think the people of the city Barry realized at the time how lucky they were. This is the propane uh, on the, on the uh, south uh, side of the city, and it picked this bus up and, and landed it in between these tanks. Now these tanks are propane, obviously, and the weakest part of any tank is the end. And we had all sorts of training uh, through the years. Uh, if these tanks were exposed to any heat, they would build up, and then the pressure would vent off, and it just sounded like a jet. And you know they'd light them, and then we'd put the fire out, and uh, then the uh, relief valve would shut off. But if these explode, just horrendous fireball, like an atomic bomb going off, and it's, it's called a blevy, a boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. And had that happened, and all of these cylinders, would, it would have rained down on the people. We, we would have had a, a good mile or so where anybody and everybody would have just been gone. And you can imagine having these tanks and all these little tanks flying through the air, and, and particularly in the area that was devastated. So, uh, you know, the good Lord was certainly looking after us that day.